sides from a different Dickensian age. Eighteen sixty four. And this is a new London restaurant that has recreated the London that Dickens knew and wrote about in the cellars of a Paddington pub. Now, just how far back from the neon lights atmosphere can you possibly get? Your menu is the flyleaf in an early edition of a Dickens novel, which, if you will, you can read as you eat. You'll find all the Dickens landmarks here. Martin, the butcher from Pickwick Papers, supplies your grill. It's just two tables away from a recreation of Mr. Micawber's house facing the old curiosity shop. Just 100 years since Dickens wrote Our Mutual Friend, his last novel, this restaurant has opened up as a Dickens museum with a difference. And there's a name from The Tale of Two Cities, where they dispense many of the drinks that Dickens described in his books. Truly, you could dream yourself back to the days of Fagin, and that anomaly of the crook's kitchen, Nancy. These are the Dickens characters out of Oliver, the West End musical comedy version of his novel Oliver Twist. The whole cast has come to add the last authentic touch to this new bit of old London. And there's that orphan's friend, the Beadle, and Mrs. Corney. That looks like Bill Sykes, but it is in fact the show's composer, Lionel Bart, in some of his outdoor clothes, which just happened to harmonize with this era. It just needed a band of strolling players to bring these street scenes to life. That artful dodger has turned the tables on his teacher and won his praise.